New offensive coordinator Clint Kubiak joins me here virtually inside the TCO studios. And first and foremost, coach, congratulations on the promotion. Uh, I got to ask you, though, now that your dad isn't in the, the building anymore, like have the guy started calling you Coach Kube yet? Uh, I hope not. I hope, <laughs> I hope uh, that's reserved for him. Uh, he deserves it. So whatever they want to call me, it doesn't matter as long as we're pulling together, winning games together. That's all that matters. And, you know, I know a lot of people ask you about your relationship with your dad and this process of replacing him. But through everything with, with your dad's success, how do you try to emulate that while still creating your own story? Yeah, it's, it's really easy. It's, it's just try to be myself and uh, don't try to be anybody else. Certainly uh, blessed to be raised by him and uh, raised in this offensive system under, you know, many coaches that he's worked with over the years so um just just go try to try to do do my own thing and obviously um his influence has, has always been there for me i'm really fortunate to have to have grown up under him but uh you know now he's i think mowing some grass out in texas so mm -hmm. gotta move on without him so there wasn't like a, a treasury book under under the bed of like all right well this will work in 2021 here you go i'll certainly be in contact with him i got his, <laughs> got his number in my phone so hopefully Hopefully he can give us some, uh, you know, third and five to seven ideas. So during your 11 year coaching career, it has been primarily on the offensive side of the ball. But we got to rewind back a little bit. You play safety in college. I know that transition to the offensive side of the ball from defense in college had to be unique for starters. But now that you're the OC, how would you scout yourself at safety if you had to prepare to play against yourself as a starting safety for the opposing team? Yeah, I mean, I'd go right at me. We'd get quarters. I'd throw a post over my head for a man to man. I'd target me every time. Um, certainly would it would expose me, no doubt about it. So, with all that experience, how, how do you feel like all that has helped you? You know, playing the defensive side of the ball, working the offensive side of the ball. You know, working your way up the ranks to this point. How has all that helped you get to the point where you are right now? As I think the fourth youngest OC in the NFL. It's just all. It's all part of the part of the game it's been a it's been a blessing for me to have uh, so many different voices in my head uh, whether it was my college defensive coaches or working under some great offensive coaches um, but uh, certainly the more the more you're exposed to the game from all different sides the better um, and I've, I've been really fortunate to see both sides well moving to the Vikings now when watching the film, because I know you guys are in self-scouting mode now, like what areas do you guys need to continue to build on after having that success? Yeah, you know, we're in the middle of that, like you said, right now. Uh, the main thing is um, we're just kind of, it's all about winning. So we, we had, we did some really good things last year. We didn't win enough games, so we got to be better in the critical situations. Um, we got to go close games out. And, and when we have an opportunity in all of our two minute situations, um, but my main challenge is just trying to find ways to get all these unique playmakers the football. And uh, I'm not doing that by myself. We're, we got a great coaching staff, a veteran coaching staff, and that's our challenge. It's, it, we got some tremendous players that Rick Spielman and Mike Zimmer have identified. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, we got to do our best to make their lives easy and get these playmakers of football. One of the guys they identified a few years ago in free agency was Kirk Cousins, the guy you've worked with the past two seasons. Second and four, Madison, the tailback. Play action for Kirk. Here's a deep shot. There's Jefferson. Touchdown! 39-yard touchdown. Cousins to JJ. Now that you're the OC, but you have that experience of coaching with, well, coaching Kirk, how do you feel like that helps both of you guys grow having that continuity? Certainly that relationship will help in this next season. Um, spend many hours in the, in the film room together. I think uh, for us to have continued success, we got to get even closer. And that's not just Kirk, that's a, that's all position groups. Um, the, the better we gel together, the more common our, our central language is, the quicker we can make adjustments and mm -hmm. the more uh, productive we can be on Sunday. I know the ultimate goal is to win, and I don't expect you to give me too much for my next question, but does the playbook change at all? Like, how does how does that work with, you know, a new offensive coordinator? Uh, Janoko is a new quarterback's coach. You got a new receiver's coach. So you're picking different brains now. So, like, does anything change? Like, are we taking more shots now that, now that you coach receivers for a while? Like, what, what does that look like? 
Yeah, that's what's really fun about this time of year. You know, the players are out of the building, so we as coaches have a lot of time to research ourselves and research the, the league, and that's what we're doing right now. We are uh, trying to find ways to really evolve our offense and, and get better. So uh, that's certainly a big challenge this year is going to be for us to do uh, new things and for us to find ways to hide the things we did well last year because mm-hmm. certainly people study you and uh, – you're either getting better or you're getting worse, but you're never staying the same. So we're just trying to get better schematically this time of year. You talk about evolving and getting better. I got to talk about, well, ask you about Dalvin Cook. We understand he's a, a playmaking running back. He, he was successful in your dad's outside zone run scheme, just screen game in the past. But like with him evolving in his game, how does he help the overall grand scheme of this offense with his maturity? Oh, well, you know, First thing defense have to do is it got to account for Dalvin. If we're running the ball well, um, then our play action game is going to be that much better. Justin and Adam are making plays downfield. Um, the better that he runs the ball, the better you know our tight ends can get involved in, in the pass game. It's all integrated together. Um, no one person is more valuable than the next. Where it's a team game, but certainly he is a major major asset to our offense, and um, he's just such a hard worker, such a great teammate. So. We got, we got to keep finding ways to, to feature him moving forward. The ultimate goal of this game is to win. I mean, the more you win, the better you are. So lastly, what outside of winning, what does success look like in this Clint Kubiak-led offense? Oh, this time of year, you know, we're all so process driven. We just want to, we want to be, you know, our best come OTAs and, and get good at the, at the details of each individual uh, player skill set. For instance, you know, uh, wide receiver, like, you know, how can we detail as many routes as possible and get better at those so that when we get the pads on, we can be good at that two or three man concept. And then once training camp comes, how can we make that three man concept pair with the, uh, the, the five man concept all together? And once, you know, the season starts, now you mix in the protection. So it's just a <laughs> systematic approach mm. where you try to get better at a little thing each day. And, uh, start incorporating the group more and more. And then the end result is, is being a cohesive unit on Sunday. So uh, it's just baby steps and being process driven rather, rather than results driven. The results also take care of themselves if we, if we take care of the details. Absolutely. Looking forward to it, Coach. Thank you for joining me today.